Righteous Thoughts in Revolutionary Times, written and edited by Ross Nabakanak, forward by Orlando Rawls. Copyright 2021 by Roy Stovall, All Rights Reserved. This book or any portion thereof may not be reproduced or used in any manner whatsoever without the express written permission of the publisher, except for the use of brief quotations in a book review or scholarly journal. Chapter 2, Self-Preservation. You have an inalienable right to life. You have a right to live your life the way you see fit as long as it doesn't infringe upon someone else's life. You have the right to do whatever is necessary to protect and maintain that life against anything and anyone that might threaten that life. That is what self-preservation is, and it is a righteous thought you should keep with you at all times. Marion Webster defines self-preservation as 1. Preservation of oneself from destruction or harm. 2 a natural or instinctive tendency to act so as to preserve one's own existence. Self-preservation is a natural instinct in all of us. This instinct also applies to our family and loved ones who we see as an extension of ourselves. You have every God-given right to protect your life and the life of your loved ones against any perceived threat or danger to that life. Nobody has the authority to give or take away your life. Whether willingly or unwillingly, we consciously submit and turn over our power of will to another, or we are deceived and it is stolen from us, or worse, that power of will is violently taken from us. There is no man-made law or government order that supersedes your right to self-preservation by any means necessary. Self-preservation can also extend beyond just physical human life. It can be extended, to a degree, to include quality of life. You have a right to protect your assets, your reputation, and your way of life against anything that seeks to threaten or destroy that, so long as it does not directly or indirectly cause injury or harm to another being without warrant. Self-preservation is a basic principle of life. Without life, there is nothing. Nothing to enjoy, nothing to strive for or against, nothing to love, nothing to cherish. Life is everything, and the main thing that matters above all else. Anything that threatens life should be handled with an attitude of self-preservation. As an adult, your life is your responsibility and yours alone. It is not the responsibility of the police to protect you and your loved ones. It is your responsibility. If you have children, the universe has entrusted you to be their guide and protector. To a certain degree, your children are an extension of you and therefore your responsibility to protect and preserve by any and all means necessary. Keep the thought of self-preservation with you at all times. To not protect oneself against any force that would seek to destroy the life you now have goes against your God-given instinct. Therefore, self-preservation is a must. Without life, we have nothing. Protect your life and the life of your loved ones by any means necessary. Life is fragile and gone in the blink of an eye. For this reason, one must always be ready to do what is necessary to preserve life.